The story of Thor ending with a goodbye to beloved hero. It's not possible. Darling, you have no idea what's possible. Thor ending with a goodbye to beloved hero one day ago. Thor's Marvel Comics run concludes with Odin going to Valhalla and leaving his son for good. Dak and Thor no. 20 to God of Hammers no. 4. The God of Thunder was battling Mjolnir. It may sound weird. But it's discovered that Odinson's hammer was sentient. This explained why Mjolnir was acting weird for so long. In order to defeat her Mjolnir, Odin gave the God of Thunder his ultimate power, the Odin Force. Unfortunately, the Allfather had to sacrifice himself to do that. After Odin's death, Thor finds out that his father's soul was transferred to Mjolnir. A happy moment that leads to the father and son arguing for months. In the final issues of Thor and Gronbeck's Thor, Blood of the Fathers, Odin was forcibly removed from Mjolnir. Valkyria eventually finds him with other dead souls waiting to be escorted to Hell or Valhalla. Instead of Odin being transferred back to Mjolnir, Odin leads the souls to Valhalla and doesn't return. Comic book characters don't stay dead. That goes double for the gods. All of the popular deities in Marvel Comics have died and come back. It's almost like a rite of passage for them. The easy guess with Odin will be no different. He may have been killed more times than any other god in comics. Nevertheless, readers shouldn't expect to see him in action anytime soon. Marvel has recently changed the way they do things, for example. Heimdall was killed by Bullseye and hasn't returned. And Norman Osborn is a hero. Things like this help keep readers interested. And allow for things to be surprising. This is why you may not see Odin for a long time. Thor being the Allfather and King of Asgard is a fantastic upgrade for the character. He's shown that even when you're as powerful and knowledgeable as Thor, not everyone will see you the same way. He's made decisions that have had people questioning his rule. The God of Thunder questioned himself at times as well. Bringing Odin back would undermine Thor's character development. Does that mean we won't see Odin again? Of course not. Thor will likely attempt to see his father in Valhalla. This means readers will see him as well, however. Marvel Comics should let the former All-Father enjoy his Valhalla retirement. For more than a few years, throughout his journey, Thor encountered various other realms, such as Jotunheim, the home of the Frost Giants, and Svartalfheim, the land of the Dark Elves. He formed alliances with other heroes, including the Avengers, a group of Earth's mightiest defenders. As Thor embraced his responsibilities, he became a true hero, protecting the innocent and fighting for justice. He gained the respect and admiration of his fellow Asgardians and the people of Earth. Over time, Thor's character developed, and he learned the importance of balance, wisdom, and the true meaning of leadership. Thor's adventures continued across multiple battles and cosmic events, including the Battle of New York, the Dark Elf Invasion, and the fight against the malevolent artificial intelligence, Ultron. He faced personal tragedies, such as the loss of his home realm, Asgard, and the deaths of loved ones. In his most recent ventures, Thor encountered the mad titan Thanos, who sought to collect the powerful Infinity Stones to reshape the universe. Thor fought alongside the Avengers and the Guardians of the Galaxy in an epic battle against Thanos and his army. But they failed to prevent him from wiping out half of all life, determined to avenge the fallen. Thor embarked on a quest to defeat Thanos once and for all, with the help of his allies, including Rocket Raccoon 